Okay, good morning everybody. So, I am going to talk about a method which we have developed quite some time back. I never talked about this anywhere in India. And so, I'm the method is quite popular now, so I thought I will talk about this method. Uh, so, I am going to tell you a method to calculate uh, entropy in terms of free energy of any molecular system. Okay? And this is a quite challenging task, so I will not go through why it's challenging, so I will just tell you the method. So, so we will start with what happens in a crystal. You, you, you divide model, and so atoms are uh, jiggling around, and we calculate the density of states, and uh, there is a certain form of density of states, and uh, if we use this density of states, then uh, one can calculate uh, within harmonic approximation, partition function and once we have the access to the partition function, we can calculate all the thermodynamic quantities, very well known stuff. And uh, harmonic oscillator, I mean one can treat it as a classical one or a quantum one, so depending on that one can get actually quantum correction from simulation, that's the way. Uh, so, so then uh, what uh, uh, my colleague and friend uh, Sangtai did many years back with Bill Goddard, uh, that uh, can we have this? Uh, same methodology applied to a uh, more interacting system and uh, diverse systems, okay? So, so idea is that then how do you get this density of state? So, so density of state will get from simulation from the velocity autocollision function and with this uh, criteria. And one important thing to notice is that the diffusion constant is related to the S of zero of that uh, density of states. Uh, so, let's see how this method works for a system. Uh, so, Lenard-Jones system for which the high quality density of uh, the equation of state exists, very high quality equation of states. Uh, so, if you do this calculation, uh, velocity autocollation, then uh, take the Fourier transform to get the density of states. Typically, they look like this. I show this for three different gas, liquid and solid. And if you do the Fourier transform, this is what the density of state look like. Now, uh, compare this to the uh, density of state in the Debye model, for, for example, solid. So, you will see this, but not see this in a real system. So, this is like a omega square uh, variation. So, now we'll use this to calculate the entropy of the system and in terms of the free energy of the system. Uh, before I do that, just wanted to mention, so here's a cartoon that uh, for a solid, uh, the density of state is looking, it's a, a device like and then there is this part, uh, these parts. And then if you have a gas, it's exponential decay. And for liquid, you have something like this. And it's a non-zero a sub zero because it's a diffusive mode, and here is a sub zero zero, non di no diffusion, and here's higher diffusion. And the question is that can we use this harmonic approximation what I mentioned to you uh, for, say, example, a liquid? And obviously, it should not work. And I'll show you that uh, because of these two reasons, the just the harmonic way of treating these modes as an oscillator uh, may not give you the correct entropy. So, what is the uh, solution to this? Solution is that that will break this uh, this density of states. For example, the liquid, uh, something a this component, solid like, and something a gas component, and I'll show you how to do that. And once you have done that, then uh, harmonic will be used for this, and we'll see that uh, what can be used for this uh, component. And so, for the gas component, I will be using the uh, the Hertzsphere gas, and I will use the Chapman and Skog and Kahneman Stalling uh, formalism. And so, so for this, it's an exponential term, and if you uh, do this, and then one can get the entropy for the hot sphere uh, in this fashion. And so then the, for the, any system, whether it's in a high density a liquid or solid or low density gas, so what we'll do, uh, we'll try to have these uh, two limits that uh, high temperature or dilute gas, we'll try to see that, that, that the gas component uh, is, uh, is one. And in the opposite limit, when the high density solid or low temperature, we'll have the, the all uh, solid component, then the fluid is, so, so the parameter I'm defining is a fluidity factor, which will allow us to break this density of state in two components uh, to get this partition. And then if I do that, so then we, one answer, we do that this fluidity is actually can be uh, defined as the density of the system, what we does, divided by the density of the equivalent hertz sphere system. And for that, we use the, the density expression we use from the Chapman and Scott. And if we do that, then, uh, uh, then uh, if we apply these two limits, then we'll get a universal equation for this fluidicity, and where this diffusion constant is encoded. 
and one can numerically solve this equation to get the fluidity factor and here is the fluidity factor and the fraction and one can get that. Uh, so let's see, so, so here is the method I am pro we are proposing that you uh, run a simulation, calculate velocity autocorrelation and then calculate the density of state using first Fourier transform and then apply harmonic approximation and calculate all the thermodynamic properties as in like the by model. Other route is be that you calculate S of zero which will, and then this universal density, uh, sorry, the diffusion constant and then solve for the fluidicity and uh, calculate how much is the gas component and how much is the solid component. For solid apply the Dubai and for gas apply the Kanhan Stalling and Chamman and Scott and then calculate the entropy and then total entropy, okay. So this is the two rules. So let's see which one works. So here I am showing you the, the one where we don't do this, we think everything harmonic. So if you calculate for example entropy, so these lines are from equation of states and you can see that the, it's actually overestimate if you do the harmonic approximation as expected in liquid it underestimate. Crystal harmonics is supposed to work so you can see that they work fine. Similarly, now if you apply the correction or the method we just now described that break this density of state into liquid and uh, the gas and solid and if you do this two correction then you can see that, that the these overestimation or this underestimate everything is exactly almost similar to the one predicted from the equation of state. Uh, similarly, you can calculate the free energy, give, uh, so here all in harmony approximation, all within this what we call a two-phase model, the, because the density of state is divided into something coming from gas-like component and something coming from solid-like component. So now let's see that, uh, so this was known earlier, so I want to expand this method uh, to molecular uh, system, okay. So for example, the first uh, system we will look at is the water for which lot of experimental data available. So for water, if you do this uh, density of states, uh, you will see something like this, okay. So here I am showing you a, a real spectra of the water and I am showing you the, uh, each of the spectra coming from different modes of the system. So this is a bond stretching mode, this will come from the angle bending, this is the librational mode and then finally this one is the translational mode. So the density of state when you will calculate it will encode all these uh, density of states and we can use this density of states to calculate actually uh, the corresponding entropy and we can decompose that because we have access to this density of state separately for each of this mode, we can have access to each of this component of the entropy and this is the only method where you have access to these all these components very, very, very clearly, okay. And uh, so yeah, I'll skip this. Uh, so here, so I'm showing you the, uh, for example, for a, some water model, uh, such a density of state. So in this water model, the it's a rigid water, so no bond vibration or angle bending. So the other modes, high frequency modes like the coming from the bending and stretching is missing from here. So only thing is, I, I show here the translational and rotational. And if you use this and the, use the methodology just, I describe in last few slides, then here is the comparison. So for several water model in the literature, so I show you the translational entropy, rotational entropy, and one of the model which was the flexible model, which, have, which will have vibrational entropy also. So these are the, and this is the experiment from the steam table from NIST database. So you can see that, and these are other methods which you might have heard like uh, free energy perturbation, uh, particle insertion, all the other uh, methods which are available in StatMac. And the, they, these are mostly uh, very time consuming and expensive and sometimes for large molecular system cannot be performed. And so here is the experiment. So you can see that the, our method just now I briefly mentioned, works well very nicely compared to the experiment. And uh, here is the full comparison. So these lines are from the steam table, uh, experimental data. And here is different uh, water model for which the entropy computed using the method. And you can see there's a perfect agreement uh, one can see. So, and uh, the one of the great advantage of this method is the quick convergence. Uh, meaning you can get this entropy, converge entropy almost close to experiment uh, within say 20 picosecond or within few hundred picosecond of the simulation. Here I am showing you for example, for water in liquid and vapor phase, how quickly one can get a converged entropy. Uh, I'll just quickly show you one application of this. Uh, so for example, we do a lot of simulation uh, in water in oops, uh, carbon nanotube and uh, this movie should have played actually. Uh, this one is playing, so this one, yeah, this movie does not work anyway. So, so here you could have seen that the water spontaneously here already you see that water has entered you. 
And the question you are asking, what is the thermodynamics of entry of this water inside nanotube channel? Because nanotube is a hydrophobic channel. What we are claiming that is a rotational entropy gain of the water molecule, which is actually driving this water entry inside. And now with this method just now I described, we can actually calculate this and really show that it's indeed the gain in the rotational entropy which is driving water entry into the hydrophobic channel. And here is the summary of that. Uh, so here, uh, bulk water, uh, so this is the enthalpy per water, and this is the bulk water translational and rotational entropy. And so the Helmholtz free energy is, is this, is in kilocal per mole. And contrast, now compare this with the entropy or the energy of the water in say this confined 6.6, which is around 0.8 nanometer diameter. So you can see that the, uh, the it loses uh, energy because it's hydrophobic confinement. It loses its neighbor because of the hydrogen bonding loss. And then you see that the translational entropy in the bulk as well as in the, in the, in the confinement, they remain similar. But what is changing is this rotational component of the entropy, which is almost getting double the, when in the confinement, it's actually gaining large rotational entropy because of this uh, first uh, vibrational mode which I showed you in the previous movie. This one, you can show, so this is what I wanted to show you that uh, uh, this, because in bulk water there are four hydrogen bonded here, two hydrogen bond is gone from the other neighbors. And so that's why this vibrational motion becomes very fast. And this is what is causing a large rotational entropy gain. And that's what is causing the, th so the free energy, whether in the bulk or in confinement, they are almost similar and that's what is driving this entry. Uh, so yeah, so I think, uh, I can stop here and can take your questions. Questions? Yeah. Here, Pavalda. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Uh, so you talked about um, uh, Inskog Chapman or Chapman Inskog. Yeah. Uh, but why did you use that? Because no. I want to have something in two limits. But what to, to calculate what? To Transport calculate the, uh, from the entropy of state, the, the entropy of the system. Because Chamanensko gives me the entropy of the uh, hard sphere gas. So you numerically solve that equation or something? No, no not numerically. The only numerical you uh, compute is the fluidity vector of what component, then the, it's the analytical expression you use it. Yeah, I did not get time to discuss talk all later, the details. Huh? I can talk to you. So it's a quite involved method. But I just wanted to give you the uh, brief summary of the method, okay? Maybe I'll discuss with you, okay? Because of the lack of time. Uh, yeah. One more. Yeah. Yes, I, I didn't understand why, how is this uh, Fourier transform of the velocity autocollation function related to density of states? I mean, why, it's not obvious, right? It's not directly equal. It's, it's directly. It gives you the density of states, the, uh, the phonon density of states. Uh, why, I mean, uh, so because density of states is just uh, like, uh, let's say delta omega minus omega q sum over. Yeah. But velocity autocollation function wouldn't be exactly that. So it's this one. That's what I was showing you. Here. Yeah, so if, I mean, why is this exactly equal to density of states? I mean, this is this is what the definition of def density defining of this as the density. It's not like the phonon density of states. This is actually, that's what, I mean, that's what I was telling you. So this is, if you look at this, this is what you'll get for, for example, Dubai. But it's not for in the harmonic limit. No, even no, that's why. So that's why that it is, if you do it for a solid, this is exactly the harmonic limit. But if you do in a real system, it is, that's what I showed you the spectra. No, but yeah. the velocity autocollation function for a solid won't, uh, uh, won't give you that. Uh, omega uh, square, the Dubai uh, dens density of state. It's omega square for low omega. But you won't get it from the velocity autocollation. No, no, so that's what, so that's what, it's, this is omega square, S of omega, this is for a solid, S of omega square. Uh, but why should it be exactly the same, I don't understand. Why? <laughs> it is exactly the same quantity. I don't see why. Okay, maybe we can discuss our coffee. <laughs> so.